Hi everyone, I hope you are having a good Sunday today. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impression on Wet n Wild's Blue Mascara. I don't know if this is a new product or not. Um, I haven't really, I haven't read anything on it, so like I don't even know what the wand looks like or the formula, anything like that. But on the back it says, Plump and Punch Up Lashes with our new limited edition color icon color mascara. Featuring standout yet wearable shades in a metallic pearl finish. These effects are so gorgeous, they'll convert the most color shy of beauty mavens. Our wide ta tapered brush instantly builds volume for a ultra dramatic look. So go ahead and don't be afraid to add a little color into your life. So, I got sapphire. I got sapphire. I have blue eyes, so I'm hoping that this will make them stand out. I think... I think that's right, like you wear blue mascara, will make your eyes look bluer. So, let's go ahead and open it up. I haven't opened it up at all. Um, my mom got one too. She got the, I think the bronze color. She has hazel eyes. I wanted to get the green, because I think the green will look better on her, but she wanted to get the brown one. I don't think she knows that they have a metallic finish, but anyway, look at the bottle. Look how beautiful it is. Ugh, so pretty. Okay. That's what the wand looks like. Looks like a nice wand. So, let's go ahead and apply it. I also, um, <clears throat> today for my eyeshadow look, I, I went to CVS and they had Wet n Wild like kits. I think they were like 40% off or $2 off, so about that. And um, there was a kit with the Comfort Zone, the eye primer and two of the um, eyeliners. I mainly bought it because of the palette, and I do like the eye primer, but I used it today because this is so well loved on YouTube, so I was like, well, I better try it, and oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Like, I don't like, um, I don't like these two for my fingers. I don't like these two as much, but I'm going to give them a go, but I use, I just did a simple look because I slept in <laughs> longer than I wanted to, so I want to make sure I get this video up. I used this crease color, the brown one right there, and then I used this color on my lid, and then I just pulled out a matte white and did my brow bone. Anyway, let's go ahead and apply this mascara, see how it looks. I like my lashes to be kind of bold, so I hope that it will be bold. I did wipe off the excess, which I guess I shouldn't have done. It's just I usually always do that because there's so much product, but I think I might not need to do that. So this should be going on pretty nice. My lashes are really dark, so I can't really tell that this is blue mascara. I can somewhat, but it's not. You can kind of tell that's blue, if I didn't get too close to the camera. You can kind of tell that's blue. It's not giving me like as much volume. It's kind of a um, more dry formulation, which I usually like dry better. Wet, I usually end up getting all over my eyes and stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Maybe it'll apply a little better there. And um, in case you're maybe new or anything like that, what I do, ha what I do, yeah, what I have done is I did four first impressions. Um, I did the Lorat Mega Pro. I did these um, palettes, and I did the Essence Pure Nude Highlight, and then the Wet n Wild Gold Bar. And then I did an update, so I will definitely do an update with this after I do a few more first impressions. I just like it when I love to give like updates because definitely 
your mind changes. I'm hoping this will because I really want to like this. I'm liking a lot better on this eye, so it might just be something I have to get used to. Because I'm used to like wearing black mascara, so like when it goes on, it's very obvious that it's going on. I don't tell my the, my left eye is looking a lot more it's looking so bad and my right one looks good. Huh. Hmm. So there's what it looks like. You can tell I put mascara on, but it's definitely not giving me the volume I want. So I'm going to keep using this as a for first impressions. Um, I don't know. Um. See, like. My lashes aren't like that skimpy or anything. So, uh, as of right now, I'm not gonna recommend this mascara, but um, I think it, it, it. I mean, it's three something. I think so. It is affordable and it is um kind of metallic. So, like, if you were looking for a fun mascara, maybe I would recommend it. For, but for like every day, I wouldn't recommend. It. I'd recommend just sticking with your black or brown, whichever color you use. But this, I'm not the biggest fan of right now. But as I said, I will keep continuing to use it and I will give you updates and videos and then I will also do a first impressions update as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you've tried any colored mascaras, like I'd love to try a purple one. Let me know what brand and if you like the formula and everything. So I'd love to try some more. I, you know, I'm kind of adventurous when it comes to makeup. So definitely let me know. And thank you so much for watching and make sure to give this video a like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!